Okay, get that in the video. LMR 400 times microwave. Okay, first thing we're going to do, turn on the side and iron. Let that warm up while we're working with the coax here. Okay, so <clears throat> what you want to do. So you want to hold this up here and you want to get kind of an idea of where you need to make your first cut at. I cut mine a little bit long on the first cut. <clears throat> and let me get this cut. Now this stuff is the solid center conductor and it's kind of hard to work with. Everything's stiff, but you want to cut all the way through <clears throat> right down to the center conductor and you'll feel it drop you'll know when you're at the center conductor. Now, <clears throat> the way they mold this stuff, it sticks to that center conductor pretty well. So you need to score down the center of it. Something like that. <clears throat> okay. Gotta do it so we can get it to release. Sometimes it takes a few times. This stuff's pretty, pretty thick. There it goes, it released. So your first cut, you wanna end up with that. <clears throat> okay. And the reason I do it long is because before you start threading it on to the rest of the the coax here you want to make sure you got enough length to get it started up through the center so next cut <clears throat> you're gonna hold this up here right to the edge just like that and it looks like we're gonna need about cut that much this time we're only gonna cut the plastic the outside coating be careful cutting this because you don't want to cut the shield Just dropped in. Okay. Give it a, one little cut down the center. And if I'm lucky, it'll peel off. There we go. Okay. There we go. So that's what you want to end up with. Make sure no, none of the shields touching the center conductor. Okay. At this point, heat shrink. Slide your heat shrink. And you can do this at any time. But slide it up on the cable. Take your outside connector. Slide that on. Don't forget that. I've forgotten that before. Now, with none of the shield touching, you want to slide the center in and push down. At this point, you're going to be threading onto the plastic. Now, this is kind of hard to do by hand. <clears throat> so you want to put the pliers here. Don't put it on the threads. Put it right here and start twisting. And keep looking. You want to see where the shield comes all the way up through the hole where you can see the full shield. Now, this part's kind of a kind of a pain. You want to keep threading. So you're starting to see the shield show now. But you want to make sure you take it all the way up. And we're all the way up. So at this point, this is what you should see. You see the shield on every single hole, the center conductor, that's fine. We're going to snip that in the end. So, now at this point, actually I'll go ahead and snip that now. Look at the angle of the connector, and you want to snip at that same angle. Let me see if I can put some of my eye out. So, that's what you want to end up with. 
And, okay, so we're gonna get the flux, the flux out. Take the little piece that we cut off. Now for this video, I'm only gonna do one of the shield connectors. And I'm going to do one of the ends there. Okay. So, importantly, soldering iron needs to be cleaned all the time. Damp sponge, wipe it off. That's what it should look like. It should look clean all the time. Every time you lay solder down and you stop, you clean it. Lay solder down, stop, clean it. Apply the solder to the soldering iron. And we're just hold it on there. Soldering iron should always be clean. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more here to the end. And there you go. That's what your center conductor oh, missed a little teeny spot there. So there's your center conductor. It's done. <clears throat> now <clears throat> you can try to use the soldering iron to do this, but it usually requires a lot of heat. So in this case, I'm going to use my soldering gun, which is 180 watt. So same thing. Give it a wipe off. Make sure it's clean. I already put flux there. So, pull the trigger. Should get hot. These things heat up pretty quickly. And here we go. That's it. So the set, uh, the shield, the solder, screw your end on. Now, slide the heat shrink on. Now my particular solder iron actually has a heat gun it's mainly made for surface mount stuff put it on there and I made a mistake I didn't push it all the way up on that one side but I think you get the point and that's it Turn everything off. Make sure you clean your soldering iron when you're done using it. So that's it, guys. That's how you put a connector on LMR 400 uh, or any coax of that size.